Hi guys, my name's Chris Collins. Um, I'm here at the Scramble Academy. Um, I'm from Neo Shoot. And what we're going to do today is an anaconda um, choke with a gator roll. Okay, let's bring Liam in here. And uh, imagine this technique as if he's gone for a, a shoot. He's going to try and grab your legs and you sprawl. Got your legs away and out there. Straight away, you see there, I put my hips down to the ground, got out of his way. I'm not going to grab round him here like this either because he's going to hook up, attack an arm, maybe even roll me as well. So I keep my hands quite loose, keep them on top there and cage him in with my elbows, all right? Now if he decides to roll, he's going to roll underneath me and I'm perfectly safe. From this position then, he can start to go for my uh, gator roll and that's to get him into position for the anaconda choke, okay? So from here, I'm going to take my hand and I put it down past his shoulder and his neck here, okay? Slide it through and it's going to pop out the other side underneath his armpit. I'll just bring Liam round there to show you. It's all right there. There, and my hand goes there. Okay, like that. Pop that round there. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is make sure that my head is touching Liam, okay? Like I'm resting on him. A lot of people get this wrong because they take the head off to look what they're doing and my hand comes back through again. There's also no pressure on this side of Liam's neck, okay? So what I want to do is rest on him. There we go. Get my ear on him and slide my hand even further through like that. You can see the difference there. Not like that, like that. Okay, from there, I'm gonna grab hold of my bicep and I'm gonna put my hand as high up on Liam as I feel comfortable. Don't leave your hand down here. You can re-wrestle you, grab your arm, okay? And also, it's not really locking this arm into place properly. I bring my hand up here, there, it's locked in a lot better like this. Now I'm gonna do my roll, okay? So this is just a hold. I'm ready to roll now. I want to be rolling underneath Liam, along his center line, there, okay? His center line is his spine, so he needs to be rolling underneath here, all right? A lot of people get this wrong and smash themselves in the face by taking him off to the side, there, and he's landing on my face. <clears throat> I don't want that. The other thing that happens when he lands on your face, not only does it hurt, it also loosens the uh, hold that you have on your opponent as well. So here, I'm gonna grab him nice and tight, grab my bicep, put my hand up there, I'm gonna roll towards his center line there, aiming for the gap where his hip is, there, okay? <laughs> roll and hold him there. Now there's a few different positions that he might land, and he might land really on his side. Here, he's a little bit more on his back, it doesn't really matter, as long as his head is on your chest or stomach. Keep that arm locked up there, like this, start to walk towards your opponent. So you see my legs there, getting a bit mobile now. Push in there, make the stomach nice and big, and that gets it, okay? So breathe out, push that head towards your arm, and that's what gets the choke. Hey, welcome to the Combat Challenge YouTube channel. If you like what you see, make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more notifications. We'll see you on the next one. Combat Challenge, we got you covered.